Greetings and salutations fellow gamers, it's Lukey P here with a, another episode of Supreme Ruler Ultimate um, and today I thought we'd do something a little bit different um, uh, we are going to be playing the game a bit but we're also going to be talking about um, the economy and in particular uh, inflation which you can see here so right now uh, as you'll know if you've watched the last couple of episodes our economy is going through a bit of an interesting time um, I'm not sure if they've changed something in the last patch which was um, released uh, probably four or five days ago now um, but previously when I've played with Brazil um, I've not ran into that level of unemployment uh, quite so early on um, and inflation yes I've reached 21-22% but again um, not this early um, so I think there's a need for some economic action and uh, we have taken some in the last few episodes um, but it's time to uh, look at something different and what I've been researching a bit and looking into between episodes is exactly how do we control inflation um, so for anyone who doesn't know what inflation is inflation in the real world is in effect it's rising prices put most simply so inflation what it does is it reduces the value of money so say for example if you were buying something for a pound or a dollar and inflation is five percent that means in a year's time the value of that pound or dollar would have fallen five percent or to put it a different way at shops prices if there was something you were buying for a pound or a dollar a year later you would be buying it for one pound and five pence or one dollar and five cents if inflation was five percent so inflation is is it's uh, you can you can conceive of it in two ways it's the rising of prices over time so that you have to spend more money to buy the same goods or looks differently it's a decrease in the purchasing power of money so a pound now is not the same as a pound in a year's time um, it's what economists sometimes call the cost of money so if you gave most businesses a choice of a million pounds now or a million pounds in a year's time they will choose a million pounds now because the million pounds now they can put to work and make more money with it but also because a million pounds in a year's time is not going to be worth the same as a million pounds now because of inflation so how do we control inflation when the real world um, a common way of doing this is with interest rates um, so interest rates they effectively give people an incentive to save so if your inflation rate is very high that means there's a lot of money in the economy buying goods if you put interest rates up it does two things it makes it more expensive for people to borrow money to buy things with and it also gives people with money an incentive to save in the bank which takes money out of the economy so what that means is that the amount of money in circulation will go down and inflation will go down because there's not so much money available to buy things with and businesses the classic ones being supermarkets i guess will have to choose to either reduce prices which will lower inflation to keep sales the same or they have to acknowledge that with people having um, a bit less money uh, they will spend less so maybe they will start buying um budget brands of uh, baked beans rather than branded more expensive brands of baked bean so those kind of examples i'm just you know making them up out of the air but those are the kind of things which 
influence inflation in the real world um, and there are a few other things so interest rates don't exist on this game although uh, you do have the ability to take out bonds um, which if you s I don't know where they are because I never take them out um, uh, well there we are we've locked our minister from bonds I'm sure someone someone in the comments maybe will remind me where the bonds are um, but in theory you um, if you take bonds out and spend them you're putting money into the economy which will increase uh, inflation uh, now in the game and in real life there are other ways you can uh, you can influence inflation so one is to reduce government spending and another is to put up taxes so if we think about what inflation is it is more money chasing goods that's the way i'm going to choose to define it for convenience in this video uh, any economists will probably uh, think that's a simplistic definition but uh, at its most basic form that's what it is so the challenge is to reduce the amount of money in circulation so there are a number of ways we can do this we can put taxes up so if people are paying more taxes to the government then they don't have as much to spend we can reduce government spending so if we reduce the amount of money we're putting into the economy so if say we reduce the amount we're spending on health care then uh, there is less money in the economy which will reduce inflation uh, the way it reduces inflation is linked to uh, unemployment so the in effect what we're doing here is our inflation in this scenario is high because our unemployment is low so lots of people have jobs it's difficult for employers to find people to actually work and therefore um, inflation has gone up because either they've got because there's a shortage of labor in effect people are having to pay more to find people to work in their businesses so by reducing government spending we are in effect reducing the number of people working in healthcare say so if we reduce government spending in healthcare people who work in healthcare some of them will be uh, made unemployed uh, which is unfortunate but a it's economic theory and b we've got to remember this is just a game um, <laughs> so uh, us us putting down uh, healthcare spending will mean um, that unemployment goes up and inflation goes down because if we are reducing healthcare spending there are fewer jobs the other thing we can choose to do is we may choose for example to specifically put up the tax on small businesses and corporations because these create jobs and so if we are taxing these organizations more heavily they are less incented to operate in our country uh, they are also less able to employ people and so we will find unemployment going up and inflation going down the other thing we would need to stop doing to lower inflation which we probably won't do is to stop building so between episodes i have in effect carried on from here separately in a separate save game file just to do a bit of testing i've not done much um other than to play with some of these taxes and spending rates and see what it does to inflation over a number of years and what i found is um for example if i put taxes up and spending down my inflation does start to reduce and my unemployment does start to creep up is what we're trying to achieve here to re to uh, make our economy effective what i then did uh, was to build um, up in the northeast of the uh, sorry northwest of the country here um, these engineers we sent started sending on a march a few episodes ago um, we built an air base and two supply bases up here and that put my inflation up by 0.5% in a very short time period 
Um, and the reason it does that is because we're still quite a small country and economically and actually suddenly injecting um, a building project like that into the economy does drive up inflation because there is more money um, there's more jobs going uh, so there's more money chasing goods therefore inflation goes up the final thing i just want to say in this kind of circle so there's inflation unemployment there's also gdp per capita uh, which you'll see up there at the moment for us is three 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 hundred and five dollars now when we started um it was i want to say about 190 dollars so in effect we've grown our economy by uh, we've grown we should say the purchase or the the money available to our population by about 50 percent in very short time period so gdp per capita is basically it's a measure um, of how much money each person has to spend so capita basically means per person gdp is gross domestic product um, so uh, for the purposes of this game when we're thinking about it if we've uh, put our gdp per capita up uh, through our economic choices by 50 percent in what under two years in effect our economy is growing by about 50 percent because the average person now has 50% more money. So we're making 50% more stuff in some ways, but it also means that they have 50% more available to spend, which inevitably is gonna cause inflation. So what we're gonna do in this episode, um, having explained that, and hopefully that's of use. Uh, if there are any questions about inflation um, and how to control it, please do drop them down in the comments. What we're going to do in this episode is we're going to attempt to uh, lower the pressure on our economy, in effect. So we are going to put taxes up, we're going to reduce social spending a bit, um, with the aim of reducing our inflation and increasing our unemployment. And as a result of that, we'll probably put our GDP per capita down. Now what this will do is that will reduce our domestic approval um which you see here um now the thing is is we are and we are a dictatorship if this was a democracy coming up to election time what i'm suggesting would be a really bad idea because we're basically going to put up uh unemployment we're going to reduce inflation and we're most likely going to reduce our GDP per capita, although that may continue to grow for a bit because we have uh, made long term improvements to the economy with the things we've bought. That makes people unhappy and is a really bad thing to do just before an election. But because we're a dictatorship in Brazil, we don't have to worry about that. So all that said, let's get going and see about managing our economy a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put taxes up for now to 60%. I will probably put them up a bit further in a little while, but I don't want to shock our economy too much by suddenly putting it up. And um, we're going to lower our social spending a bit. And actually, interestingly, um, I don't know whether it's this latest patch or a couple of patches ago. Um, I did read somewhere that reducing your education budget actually increases your population because less educated people know less about um, birth control and so tend to have more children. Now, for us, that's a good thing because our unemployment is a problem. Um, and if we have more people more population um we will have more people available to work so we want to increase our population so you can see there our immigration is about 150,000 our immigration is 40,000 our births are 814,000 our deaths are 865,000 so 
odds are our immigration will go up as a result of these decisions and our deaths will go up because we are putting down our health care and we are putting down some of the things which make our country attractive and make people want to stay and not immigrate um, but our births may go up a little bit because we're dropping our uh, education budget infrastructure I'm going to leave where it is because I do see that as an investment in uh, an efficient economy family subsidy I'm actually going to leave that where it is because I do want more people. Law enforcement, we'll tweak a little bit, but we're only spending a million on that. Um, cultural subsidy, we will keep just to avoid harming our um, immigration too much. Uh, so we may come back actually and just slightly tweak our family subsidy down. Um, ah. The other thing I forgot to talk about entirely, domestic prices. This is another great way to reduce inflation. So basically domestic prices um, let's explain how this works a little bit so domestic prices now if you think about it theoretically if i put up the price of um agricultural goods by say 10 percent, that should in theory cause inflation right because i defined inflation as um the the cost of goods that was one of the definitions i gave so it affects the price has gone up by 10 percent surely by definition I've increased inflation by 10% which in the real world yeah that would be the case um, so inflation is it's kind of an arbitrary measure so the way it's measured normally is the government chooses what's called a basket of standard goods so they're things which everybody tends to buy so they might be um, you know certain foodstuffs um, they might be a price for telephone mobile phone contracts everyone tends to have those these days and those prices are monitored and if those prices increase then the government says hey that means inflation's gone up so inflation is um, it's a bit of a measure and it's a little bit arbitrary because it depends on what they've selected to determine inflation so what we're doing here is if we're putting up the prices in effect we're increasing inflation but having read um, the official wiki for this game um, that doesn't uh, uh, that doesn't actually drive inflation up here which is a bit surprising now I've actually seen some contradictory things online uh, with some people saying that actually the way to lower inflation is to reduce domestic prices um, now the reason I think you want to increase prices here is because I think the game measures inflation by saying how much spare money have people got so if I drive up the price of these goods which people need they have to spend more money on these goods and so there's less to spend on other stuff which means they have less money available to spend on the other stuff therefore inflation has in fact gone down it's it's not entirely you know it's not how the real world would work but as a simulation i think i get where it's coming from so what we're going to do is we're going to put some of these things up by 10 percent maybe even a bit more where our population make use of them now our economy really isn't going to like this but this unfortunately is the necessary price of managing our inflation and in previous episodes you saw me when the uh, people complained that the prices were too high you saw me um, put the prices down in effect we're now reversing that um, and the logic of putting the prices down is in previous episodes I thought that might have reduced inflation on the basis it was reducing the price of goods but I now know from reading around that that doesn't seem to be the case 
Okay, so we've made those few adjustments. We're now ready to play again. Um, in world news, Hitler has promoted himself. Yes, another historically accurate event. Um, in effect, Hitler did uh, take over the army and uh, uh, yeah his victory over or the German victory over France in World War Two for real basically made him think he was uh, the ultimate general uh, so okay that's happened diplomatic exchange successful that was from the last episode so um, let's get going Having looked at economic theory, this uh, this episode may now run a little bit longer than normal. Uh, Anschluss. So we spoke about this in a previous episode. So this was the Austrian government has effectively fallen. German troops have entered Austria with no resistance, effectively annexing Austria. Across the board this afternoon at Braunau, his birthplace. Well, we're not going to support or condemn that. We're just going to leave that be. Uh, China's come in for our industrial goods, uh, for our consumer goods rather, which is great. They're offering basically six million for five million's worth of goods, which is a 20%-ish plus margin. So we're definitely going to accept that because consumer goods are trading at less than 20% margin on the market. This was why we took about 50% of them off the market because people are going to start bidding for them and they're going to bid at better prices in the market. Diplomatic offer, more consumer goods. Now these guys want to pay us less than the market price. So Turkey, we are not going to agree for that. You're going to have to come back with something better. But what we might do in the interest of maintaining good relations is we will go and offer to sell to them direct and see if they are willing. Ah, oh, that's why, because they haven't got much money at all. We'll see if they are willing to come up with a slightly better price. Yes, that's, I mean, we could see if they're willing to let's see the maximum they're willing to go to. So 32 million. So we need to find something which they pay 32 million ish for. That day. So you see here, we're on really friendly terms with them. Uh, they haven't got a lot of money, which is why they can't pay as much. But for 18 million, they're offering us 30, which is over a 50% markup. So awesome. Cover from France. Yeah, there we go. So again, look at look at this. So this is we've taken some of our petroleum off the market in previous episodes. We're only selling ten percent on the market, which basically means people now know they can come to us and bid for our stuff. We're not selling to the market. France has come to us and said for two point three four three million worth of goods, they're going to pay us seven. So these are the kind of great markups you can get by, if you can afford to take stuff off the market and have your economy not collapse, it's a really good thing to do quite often. Uh, Colombia, uh, yeah, we'll probably accept that as well. It's not quite as high margin as we'd like, but it builds relationships for the future. Let's have a check. It's only been a few days, but let's see what our inflation... Our inflation has started to creep down a little bit, I think, from what it was at the start of the episode. You can see our immigration started to go up already. Yeah, so people are leaving the country because they don't like our new taxes. Um, now, the truth is, is to see any real effect of these changes on policy, it's going to take a while. Um and it probably won't be obvious in this episode that what I've done is materially affecting inflation. Um, 
it also means that in effect because we're going to be sitting around here not building much because that uh, again will hurt our inflation it means potentially these episodes will be a little bit slow um, so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to play a pure economy game about reducing inflation if there is demand um, in the comments to see a game which is just purely focused on reducing inflation to prove that um, what I've said works actually does work um, I may consider doing that I have got another save game but it's kind of like three years on from here I think where I have just been focusing exclusively on reducing inflation um, and not develop my economy but what we're going to do here in this game is in effect here we are making money we've got spare consumer uh, spare industrial goods capacity consumer goods people really want um, so by logic I should be looking at building um, some more uh, a little bit more power to support it and some more consumer goods and actually uh, that is probably what I'm going to do which will drive up inflation uh, let's just play for a few more days and see inflation starts to yeah I see it's down at 20.4 um, so these don't look like much 20.3 but dropping by 0.1 ish a day is uh, is not inconsequential France keep coming back to us for that oil which is good got our another motorized engineer over there so group number three of our engineers um, So you see now that our inflation really so you can see the impact of this so our unemployment's gone up by 0.1 percent our inflation is now down to 20 percent and our gdp per capita has gone down as well um so you can see even in the short amounts of time we've been playing it really does affect inflation uh, now what i'm going to do is we've barely played this episode really we've spoken through principles but in order for this episode not to run overly long i am going to wrap it up there and i'm going to leave this almost as a little bit of a, a standalone episode talking through inflation a little bit of a a tutorial almost on how to manage inflation so you've seen you know since the start of the episode we've dropped several points on inflation or you know not full percentages but we've gone down to 20 percent and our unemployment has got up that will continue to happen um, and especially if it does start to stagnate we can put our taxes up more or we can reduce our spending further oh, that's the wrong window we can reduce our spending further here or we can look to increase our population because if we're earning the same amount of money or we're creating the same amount of money as a as an economy but we have more people um our gdp per capita will go down um our number of jobs doesn't necessarily change so if we had say 50 million people now we'd still have probably roughly the same number of jobs because i'd still be creating the same under all of these areas so um that would also help our inflation because our unemployment would grow up go up uh, or we can push up our prices all of these things can be done um, 
no, that's not the right screen. It's here, our price is here. All of these things can be done to help control inflation. Uh, the amount I've seen recommended online is single digits, uh, ideally two to three percent. So uh, that's what the ideal amount is in the real world. I'm not entirely sure it's realistic for this game if you're looking to grow and really expand your economy and get ready to, you know, generate enough financial surplus and enough goods that you can fund massive numbers of research facilities which is what we'll be doing so i think we will have to you know we'll probably have to be contented long term in this series with inflation at higher than single digits because we want to grow our economy but if you were just playing inflation those tactics i've just talked you through can reduce it and can get you down probably into the single digits if you were to play it for uh, you know an extended period without building anything so i hope that's been useful um it's something i found interesting to research and it's interesting as well because um, as i mentioned in a previous episode i, I do work in a kind of financy type job so uh, these economic concepts are familiar to me and it's been interesting to look at some things i studied as part of a degree a while back again um so yeah, I hope you found that interesting. I hope it's useful. If it has been useful, uh, please do let me know in the comments. Um, if you've got any questions or suggestions for improvement or other ways you've seen of managing inflation uh, in this game, do let me know. If you've liked this video, please do give it a like and please do subscribe to my channel. Um, it would be really appreciated and would encourage me to uh, keep on making series like this so i'm lukey p thank you very much for watching and i will see you again soon